Observer going with here? So, the Observer have said that on Thursday, uh, the £30 or £60 billion pound fiscal hole, uh, we're going to hear about the budget. So, will the trustonomics be addressed or not? So, her disastrous mini budget cost the country a staggering £30 billion, uh, doubling the sum that the Treasury says will have to be raised by Jeremy Hunt this week in a huge programme of tax rises and spending cuts. The think tank think, says the £30 billion pound figure would have been far higher without the U-turns already taken by Hunt on the trust plans. And the rest of the fiscal hole uh, can be accounted for by unexpectedly bad economic position, uh, conditions which have meant lower growth and lower tax receipts to the Treasury. Essentially, we're back at <laughs> It's, yeah. I'm worried because Hunt says he wants to raise the pensions to inflation. Inflation is at 11%. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. But aren't, I mean, they're triple locked anyway, so... Uh, well, but triple lock has to go. Yeah. Those old people have to eat less <laughs> or something. As you get older, your appetite is supposed to wane. Well, where I'm not seeing the evidence of this. You're supposed to slim down when you get older. Your bones shrink. So let's, yeah. you know, cut back on the bread. Your height shrinks as well. Well, everything. Yeah, your income should shrink Oh, your too. nose and your ears continue growing. Well... That's where you need the calories, isn't it, for yeah. all the cartilage? I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah. that yeah. makes an awful lot okay. of sense. Okay, I think we should put that to them. You, good luck with that. Um, I mean, it, it talks about uh, trust, trustonomics or whatever the phrase is. Was it the economics that were the problem or was it the bullish attitude of I'm so right, you don't even know how right I am? There was the, one of the speeches that Trust gave and there was only three. So it's not like there's loads to try and remember. Mm. Yeah. But her, her apology when there were U-turns was effectively along the lines of I'm sorry, you don't realise how right my plans are, mm. which is one of the worst kind of apologies. And she didn't let anyone outside of her bubble see the figures and see the actual plan to prove mm. it. People were kind of at a loss about how it was going to work, and it didn't seem like it would work. And once the word got out that it would not maybe work, people really panicked. And I think that she was not, like you said, very reassuring. She didn't seem capable of looking at people and speaking to them as though she were actually in the room. She seemed ethereal, and I think that freaked people out a little bit. I think ethereal is, is, is quite a... It makes it sound slightly uh, more uh, gentle and approachable than perhaps she was. I wonder, and I'm not saying either way, but I, I, I'm starting to think that perhaps she sort of looked at the way Thatcher ruled with an iron fist and said, do you know what, in order for me to command as a female prime minister, I'm going to have to have the absolute same approach mm. and I'm not going to explain myself, it's my way or the highway and the, you know, the harder the medicine is to take, all that sort of stuff. So I don't know, I just know that she was beaten by lettuce. I'm worried that we're going to yeah. go back to heavy-duty tax cuts and then austerity and then the, the, the lawn at the park in front of our house won't get mowed once a week. Uh, and that really annoys me. That's what bothers you. Well, you know. I... And this all could have been avoided if we saw some working out. I mean, on, on the TV show Countdown, if you get the same solution as someone else, you still have to show your workings. Yeah, and yet, exactly. for some reason, she thought, <laughs> I want to no. see the scribblings, that's all. Yeah. What is it about her? Why? <laughs> uh, Twelve years in, in the cabinet, she can't get it together. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, and also on the front page, there's a story which is um, bad news for us working working class types? Well, there, it's, it is unfortunately bad news. So there is a widening pay gap between the classes and the £10,000 difference between being middle class and working class here, apparently. And this specifically affects, unfortunately, um, women and ethnic minorities who face a double disadvantage, as if we needed anything else to rail against. Mm. There's now a £10,000 wage gap. But Alan Milburn, the former health secretary and now chair of the SMF, he called on ministers to legally require companies to do more to measure and monitor and report that pay gap. Um, you see companies like PwC, KPMG and Clifford Chance uh, wailing in and saying those on the receiving end of the class pay gap are being hit by a double whammy as the cost of living crisis also eats into their incomes. I just wonder, though, when you're dealing with, like, KPMG and these kind of companies, how many... It's a little bit ironic, isn't it? How many working-class people are actually <laughs> top-flight yeah. accountants? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know if they're... How they're can charging I more than £10,000 to I, I think, commission that piece yeah. of work. I think Charles is going to help, because we had a story come out, I think, about Charles giving money to his poor employees that clean yeah. his toilets and stuff. So I think he's going to help a little bit with this. He's going to throw some money down... Down the toilet for them. I'll see what I can do. Catch this. I, I, I realise I introed this by saying us working class types. I'm looking around. It's just me, isn't it? Because you have the accent of someone. I, I don't know what you're mother, suggesting. Single mother. I mean Ivy League, but you know she she worked hard to get me there. Yeah. And then but did, you're from I, a, a nation that doesn't have the class structure. We don't or, have or the class. People. No, right. we're in the world. I'm half and half. I'm half American, half British. So I'm oh, right. completely. Working well. You guys Nothing can't. Uh, well, Scott will move on to the <laughs> Sunday. Mongrel.